And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. President Donald Trump has made clear that the world's leading state sponsor of terrorism must not be permitted to acquire nuclear arms. As long as I'm president of the United States, Iran will never be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. For the past two years, the United States has waged a maximum pressure campaign using economic and diplomatic tools to deprive the Iranian regime of resources and allies to pursue its malign activities, including the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo recently announced new steps in that direction. First, the United States has terminated sanctions waivers for three Iran nuclear-related projects, including at the Iraq reactor, the Tehran research reactor, and one involving the export of Iran's spent and scrap research reactor fuel. Secondly, the United States imposed sanctions on two Iranian officials who support the Iranian government's proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, Anjad Sozgar and Majid Ogoyi. Third, the United States sanctioned the Islamic Republic of Iran shipping lines, the IRISL, under Executive Order 13382. IRISL is a long-standing carrier of proliferation-sensitive items. U.S. Special Representative for Iran Brian Hook said the United States is taking these actions now because the regime continues to use its nuclear program to extort the international community. We will deny Iran all paths to a nuclear weapon. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.